can be find the work. What's that? Force times distance. So the work is approximately that, right? Because we do this approximation. It is force times distance. So that's the basic law that we use. Now, what does that law mean? Because force is a vector. Distance, is that a number? And if so, how do we multiply a vector by a number? Do we get a vector? And if so, is work a vector? No. Distance is a vector. So distance is a vector. So you think of distance as dis displacement, then? Well, that's okay. We can we can do that. But then we have to multiply a vector by a vector, and we have at least two ways to do it. Right? Either dot product or vector product, or maybe there are, there are other products yet undiscovered. Why should it be dot product? What's the reason? Space. Does it mean that in three-dimensional space we will switch to vector product? No. So wh why should it be dot product? Uh huh. Okay. So we. This is what we really have to understand. Right. So that's why one has to work on these basic laws, although they're very simple. One has to understand all the little details of that. So if you have the force like that, and this is the displacement vector. So the force is, is known. It is F of position at point Ti. Well, what's the displacement? Displacement is the velocity vector v of t i multiplied by delta t. Right, so now this is a vector multiplied by the time gives you displacement vector. So what do we do about these two vectors to compute the work? Well, if you look at this force and the displacement happens only in this direction, then there is only a part of the force that actually produces some work. And the rest of the force is wasted because we are not moving in that direction. Right? So what we have to look at is actually uh, the component of that, well, projection of that force onto this direction. And once we project, well, then we multiply. Then we multiply numbers. Magnitude of this times magnitude of that. And basically that law comes from motion on a line when the force is on the line. So then it comes down to force as a number times distance as a number. So what does that mean? Um, This component is going to be component of the force in the direction of velocity, and that is force dot velocity divided by magnitude of velocity by the speed. And then this component has to be multiplied by the displacement. So now this number has to be multiplied by magnitude of that vector. So the work is approximately 
f dot v divided by magnitude of v multiplied by magnitude of v times delta t. And how good is that? Well, what's the magnitude of v times delta t? Isn't it magnitude of v times magnitude of delta t? And don't we expect delta t to be positive? And don't we see magnitude of v cancelling? And the result is um, the force dot product velocity times delta t. And now I use dots for both multiplications, but we have to distinguish them clearly. And in fact, it doesn't matter which order you do this multiplication, whether you multiply velocity by that number first, and then dot product, or dot product then by a number because of linearity. So, so to be precise now, we have the work Work is approximately force at the point where the particle is at the time ti dot product velocity at the time ti times delta t. Now, is that good? Does it look like something that will develop into an integral? It's a product of something in terms of ti only, no delta t, times delta t. And now the total work is sum of all the little works, and that is approximately the sum of those. And of course, the work is now expected to be the limit of sums like that as delta t goes to zero. And that is recognized immediately. Don't you recognize immediately the integral? Mm -hmm. And then if you do, why don't you tell me what the limits are? A and B. The time changes from time A to time B of the f of f of t i dot product v of t i. So that's the final formula for the work. Uh, v is simply derivative of f, of that little f. Everything here should be known at this point. Because we assume the field of forces is given and the motion is given. 